हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इकोनॉमिक्स क्लास सिंस द प्रीवियस क्लास वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फोर इंपॉर्टेंट गुड्स दोज आर नॉर्मल गुड्स इनफेरियर गुड्स सब्सिट्यूट गुड्स एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास इट सेल्फ वी वे कंप्लीटेड नॉर्मल गुड्स एंड इनफेरियर गुड्स एंड already we saw some difference between normal goods and inferior goods and now in this class we are going to taking the third and fourth most important goods those are substitute goods and complementary goods right now let's see a uh, substitute goods and complementary goods okay right first take the third and very important goods those are substitute goods okay now let's see the meaning of substitute goods goods that are used as a alternative to satisfy a particular need okay these are the goods which are used as a alternative okay to satisfy what a particular need such goods are called substitute goods okay the relationship between the price of a good and demand for its substitute good is positive okay means the relationship between the price of a good and demand means the relationship of price and demand is positive under the substitute good okay now listen here that is when the price of a good increases when the price of a good increases the demand for its substitute good will also increases okay listen here very carefully if the price of one good increases if the price of one good increases then demand for its substitute good will increases okay the demand for its substitute good will increases okay and vice versa here vice versa means opposite means here when price of one good decreases then the demand for its substitute good will also decreases that is why the price and demand relationship is positive under substitute good okay now let's see one example for the substitute good here the substitute goods are tea or coffee okay here let's take the example of tea and coffee right see here if the price of tea increases if the price of tea increases then the consumers will shift to the coffee okay the consumers will shift to the coffee so the demand for coffee will increases right understood now then what will happen the demand for coffee will increases and if the price of tea decreases if the price of tea decreases then the demand for coffee will also decreases because the consumers will shift to the tea okay when the price of tea decreases the consumers will come to the tea and automatically the demand for coffee will decreases okay understood the concept of a substitute good here yes this is very important example for the substitute good okay that is tea or coffee okay understood now what is substitute good now let's talk about the complementary goods okay now let's see the meaning of complementary good here goods that are consumed together goods that are consumed together to satisfy a want such goods are called complementary goods okay complementary goods are those goods which are consumed together but substitute goods are those goods which are not consumed together okay because they are consumed as a alternative good okay see so here i given the example of tea and coffee for the substitute good 
because tea and coffee are not consumed together okay you may choose tea or coffee okay that is what the substitute goods but complementary goods are those goods which are consumed together okay now i will give the example for the complementary goods first see here the relationship between the price of a good and the in and the demand for its complementary good is inverse here inverse means the opposite okay that is when the price of a good increases the demand for its complementary good decreases okay when the price of the price of a good increases okay listen here if the price increases then the demand for its complementary good will decreases okay it is just opposite of substitute goods okay and vice versa means if the price decreases then demand for its complementary good will increases okay now i will give a best example for the complementary goods okay here there are some example for the complementary goods bike and petrol tea and sugar and again there are some examples like pen and ink are all are what complementary goods because these goods are consumed together okay these goods are used together I mean let's take the example of bike and petrol okay see so here listen if the price of petrol increases if the price of petrol increases then automatically the demand for bike will decreases right if the price of petrol will increase then demand for bike will decrease because these are the complementary goods right now listen here if the price of petrol decreases if the price of petrol decreases then demand for bike will also what will happen demand for bike will increases okay right these are the example for the complementary goods okay understood now the meaning of substitute goods and complementary goods substitute goods are those goods which are used as alternatives okay which are used as alternative good okay and complementary goods are those goods which are consumed together which are consumed together like bike and petrol car and petrol tea and sugar okay pen and ink okay these are all the complementary goods okay now let's talk about some important difference between substitute goods and complementary goods okay these are very important for your examinations okay difference between substitute and complementary goods this chart will shows you some important difference between substitute goods and complementary goods the first column shows you the basis of differences and the second column is of substitute goods and the third one is that is complementary goods now let's take the first and very important difference between substitute and complementary good is the meaning okay the meaning of substitute good and complementary good then what is substitute good here substitute goods refers to those goods which can be used in place of one another to satisfy a particular want okay substitute goods are those goods which can be used in the place of another good okay means it can be used as a alternative good to satisfy a particular want okay this is the meaning of substitute good now let's see the complementary good complementary goods refers to those goods which are used together to satisfy a particular want okay complementary goods are those goods which are used together to satisfy a particular want now let's see the second important difference that is the nature of demand 
ओके सब्सिट्यूट गुड्स हैव कॉम्पिटेटिव डिमांड ओके सब्सिट्यूट गुड्स हैव व्हाट इयर द कॉम्पिटेटिव डिमांड एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स हैव जॉइंट डिमांड ओके दिस इज द सेकंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन सब्सिट्यूट गुड्स एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द थर्ड एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट difference that is the relation relation of price and demand under substitute and complementary goods that one already i have told you the price of one substitute good has a positive relationship with quantity demanded for another substitute good okay means here there is a positive relationship between price and demand under substitute goods right now let's talk about the complementary goods price of a complementary good has negative relationship with the quantity demanded of another complementary good okay means the relationship between price and demand is negative under complementary good now the last and very important difference between substitute good and complementary good is the example okay the example for the substitute goods are tea and coffee yes uh, next one is coke and pepsi okay are the best example for the substitute goods okay now what are the example for your complementary goods tea and sugar car and petrol bike and petrol pen and ink okay there are many examples for the complementary goods okay these are uh, some important difference between substitute and complementary goods right now in the next class we will talk about movement of what here the demand and shift in the demand curve right thank you